in Toad of Toad Hall by A. A. Milne, which has been adapted from Kenneth Graham's classic story, The Wind in the Willows. You can hear Derek Smith as Toad, Bernard Cribbins as Rat, Richard Goulden as Mole, Cyril Luckham as Badger, and Hugh Paddock as the Judge. The Fraser Simpson music has been especially adapted for this radio production by Peter Hope. The river bank. A warm morning in spring. Nurse was knitting a sock but seems to have fallen asleep. This leaves Marigold to amuse herself. She is lying on her front and talking down the telephone. At least she has the trumpet of one daffodil to her ear and of another to her mouth, and has apparently just got on to the exchange. Hello, is that the exchange? I want River Bank 1001. Hello? Is that the Water Rat's house? Is that Mr. Rat speaking? Oh, good morning, Mr. Rat. This is Marigold speaking. Yes, well, almost alone. Nurse is here, but she's asleep. How's Mr. Badger and Mr. Mole? Oh, haven't you seen him? Well, I expect he's very busy spring cleaning. You see, when your house is all basement, there's such a lot of spring cleaning to be done. Yes, I prefer Riverside residents too. Oh! May I really come one day? How lovely! Oh, no, not tomorrow. I'm having tea with Mr. Toad. Oh, yes, conceited, but so nice. <laughs> oh, will you really? Well, and if Mr. I Mo declare, Miss Marigold, you do think of funny things. Oh, nurse is awake. Goodbye. Have you been overhearing, nurse? I couldn't help it, dearie. You're that funny. With your Mr. Rat and Mr. Toad and Mr. Badger and all. Just as if they were human beings. Oh, but so they are. Human beings? Yes, I mean, they're as human to themselves as as we are to us. <laughs> well, it's no good, dearie. I can't follow it. I mean, they must seem quite big and grown up and human to each other. And if we lived in their world, then they'd seem big and grown up to us, just like real people. Oh, now fancy that. You might almost have seen them, the way you talk. Well, I have. Never. Yes, one morning. I came out here early, or oh, ever so early. Nobody was up. You weren't up, and the birds weren't up, and even the sun wasn't up. And everything was so still that there was no sound in all the world, except just the wind in the willows, whispering ever so gently. Well, and what happened? Well, I sat there and waited for everything to wake up. And then, by and by, I heard something. Music, very thin and clear and far off. And then, well, then there was the sun and it was daylight. And it seemed as if I'd just woken up myself. But it was all different. Something had happened. I didn't know what, but I seemed to understand more than I did before. To have been with them. Oh, yes. I can hear them. Listen, that's the music again. Quick, hide. <laughs>
Fine. This is better than whitewash. Hang spring cleaning. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Blow spring cleaning. Is that a river? Oh my, oh my. Bother spring cleaning. What's that? Ducks came, ducks came, and the ducks came. Busy in the river. Hello, Mole. Hello, uh, Walter Rat. Don't seem to have seen you about before. Well, I, I don't go out very much as a rule. Prefer home life, I know. Very good thing, too, in its way. Yes, you see, I, uh, uh, this is a river, isn't it? The river? Well, I've never seen a river before. Never seen a... No. You've never... No. Well, I... What have you been doing, then? Is it as nice as that? Nice? My dear young friend, believe me, it's the only thing. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, half so much worth doing as simply messing about by a river. Simply messing, messing about by a river. Or in a river, or on a river, it doesn't matter which. But then, what do you do? Well, nothing. Just mess about. Ooh. That's the charm of it. You're always busy, Ooh. and yet you never do anything in particular. Mm. And when you've done it, there's always something else to do. Ooh, yes. And you can do it if you like, yes. but you'd much better not. Yes. Oh. And so you've never even seen a river before? Well, well, well. I'm afraid you must think me very ignorant. Oh, not at all. Naturally, not being used to it. Look here. What are you doing today? Well, I, 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 I was spring cleaning. On a day like this? Yes, you see, that's just it. Sometimes I seem to hear a voice within me say, whitewash. And then another voice says, hang whitewash. And I don't quite know which of the voice. I don't, I don't. Mm? What? Hang whitewash. <laughs> <laughs> that's yes. the spirit. Well, what I was about to suggest mm. was a trifle of lunch here on the riverbank. Ooh. And then I'd take you round and introduce you to a few of my friends. Uh, does that appeal does to you at all? Does it appeal to me? Hey? Does it appeal? Oh, my, oh, my, oh, yes. my! Oh, uh, there, there, there. You don't want to get too excited. It's only just a trifle of lunch. Cold tongue, cold ham, cold chicken, Ooh. salad, French rolls, quest sandwiches, hard-boiled eggs, oh. bloater paste, tinned peaches, meringues, oh. ginger beer, lemonade, milk, chocolate, oranges, nothing special. Oh, only just stop, a trifle of stop. Oh, lunch. my, oh, my, oh, what a day. <laughs> well, that's all right. You'll feel better soon. Uh, now, you just sit here on this heap of leaves. Don't go falling into the river yeah, or anything yeah, like that, yeah. and I'll be back in two minutes with oh, the luncheon basket. Mr. Oh, my, oh, what a day. Next time this happens, I shall be exceedingly angry. I've had to speak about it before, and I don't want to speak about it again. But I will not have people sitting down on me just as if I'm a part of the landscape. Now, who is it this time? Speak up. Oh, please, Mr. Badge, it's only me. Well, uh, if it's only you, uh, that makes a difference. I, I don't want to be hard on you, uh, but I put it to you that when an animal is being particularly busy underneath a few leaves, thinking very deeply about things, giving himself up to very serious reflection, he does not want to be disturbed. And it is disturbing, my little fellow, to have somebody sitting down carelessly on your person and stretching his legs in an independent sort of yeah, way no, and... Oh, and excuse me, and... you? Hello, why, it's Mr. Badger. Oh, Ratty, my dear little man, delighted to see you. I was just telling this little oh, fellow... Oh, by the way, let me introduce you. My friend, Mr. Mole. Oh, don't mention it. Any friend of yours, Ratty. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Badger? I'm very proud to meet you, and I'm sure I'm extremely sorry... Oh, that's that all right, you. that's all right. Any friend of Ratty's may sit down where he likes and when he likes. 
Oh, I'll know the reason why. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, and what are you two little fellows doing? Oh, just having a trifle of lunch. Uh, stay and join us, oh, won't you? Oh, do, Mr. Badger, it's a, it's a picnic. Mm, yes, well, picnics aren't too much in my line. Uh, you've got company coming? Well, only Mole and myself, unless Toad happens along. And there's cold tongue, cold chicken, salad, French rolls, crisp sandwiches, hard-boiled eggs. And... Oh, well, if you're sure there's no company, I, I'll just sit here. Uh, you know, Ratty, I never did like society. Well, I can't say I see much in it myself. Sensible animal. Uh, what about your friend, Mr. Mole? Oh, I lead a very quiet life, Mr. Badger. A field mouse or two drops in from time to time. Perhaps half a dozen of them will come carol singing at Christmas. Mm. But beyond that, I hardly see anybody. Oh, well, that's right, Ratty. Your little friend promises well. Uh, yes, but you're sitting on the lunch. He has Badger. the we right can't... ideas. Uh... How different from one whom we could mention? Toad? Oh, Toad is all right. Ah, me. Oh, I've heard of the great Mr. Toad. Must be a very nice animal. Mm, so simple, so good-natured, so affectionate. Perhaps he's not very clever. We can't all be geniuses. It may be that he is both boastful and conceited, but mm. he has some great qualities, has Toady? If it were not for the desire to shine before his acquaintances, what a much more dependable animal Toad would be. Mm. I knew his father... I knew his grandfather. Yeah. I knew his uncle, the Archdeacon. Ah, mm. oh, me. Oh, cheer up, old badger. We'll take him in hand one day and make a better animal of him. Yes. Indeed, we must. It is a duty I owe to his father. You and me and our friend, the Mole, here, mm -hmm. we'll take him in hand and make a better animal of him. That is, if we have any more of his nonsense. Yes, that's right, Badger. But he's a good fellow, Toady. Doesn't mean any harm, you know, just his way. What is his uh, way? Uh, you tell him, Rat. Crazes. He always has crazes. First it's for sailing, and then it's for punting, and then it's for astronomy, and then it's for carriage horses, and whatever it is, he always has the most expensive, and lots of them. And knows all about it, or thinks he does. And, oh, just get up a moment, please, Badger. You're sitting on the luncheon I basket. I knew his father. I knew his uncle. His, the, uh... what, whatever it is, he must have the best. And then in a week, he's forgotten all about it and started something else. Society. That's what's undone him. The craving to shine. It's very sad, my young friend. Very sad. I knew his grandfather. Oh, dear, dear. What his poor father would have said. Hello! Hello, Tony! I thought he'd come along soon. You see, he likes company. Ah, oh, me. Hello, you fellows. This is splendid. Oh, oh. Oh, hello, old badger, dear old rabbit. Hello, you. And dear old badger, how are you? So, so. Splendid, indeed. Over my friend, Mr. Mole. Oh, how are you? Splendid, well, that's good. And old rabbit. And badger. We were talking about you, my young friend. Ah, oh, well, the penalty of fame, eh? One gets talked about, one is discussed, one is a topic of conversation, one is speculated about. <laughs> there it is, one can't help it. <laughs> well, that you man, and how are you? Uh, I'm all right. We were just going to have a trifle of lunch. You'd better join us. I say, Badger, old man, you're sitting on the luncheon basket. No, I... no, no. You all come up to my house. Come up to Toad Hall. I'll give you lunch, the finest lunch you ever had. But, but, but this cold tongue, cold ham, cold chicken. Salad, French rolls, hard boiled sandwiches, <laughs> and. <laughs> you wait till you see mine. Ratty knows, eh, Ratty? They're quite famous. Be referred to in books. Another select little luncheon party, a toad hall. <laughs> oh, now, now, toad. Well. I'll get up and be moving. Well, thank you very much, old chap. That's uh, right, we'll all be moving. It's only a step to Toad Hall. Jacobean residence. And Tudor, surely. Uh, with bits of Tudor. That's right. the finest house on the river. You'll like it. I'm sure I shall. Well, goodbye, my young friend. Goodbye. We shall meet again. And before very long, if I'm not mistaken... Goodbye, Ratty. Are you sure you won't stay to lunch? But you're coming to lunch with me, old badger. Nobody is coming to lunch with you, Toad. Many a time I have lunched at Toad Hall with your father. 
An animal of few words, but of what an intellect. Ah, oh, me. How different from... I will not go into that now. Hour after hour, when lunch was cleared away, we would sit there meditating. I knew your grandfather, worthy animal that he was. Many a time have I lunched with him at Toad Hall. Little did he think, as we sat there reflecting, that one day... But I shall refer to that later... Goodbye, my unhappy young friend. Isn't Mr. Badger feeling very well? Poor old Badger, he gets that way sometimes. No fire, no spirit, no, no, what's the word? Oh, oh, eh, long. <laughs> well, well, we can't all have him. What about lunch? Yes, he's coming, Toad, he's coming. Now try one of these sandwiches. Oh. I've got the corkscrew, good. Let me open you one of these bottles. <laughs> Sit down, Ratty, make you so <laughs> comfortable. Uh, have you got everything you want, Molly? Yes, thank you. That's so. right. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, now, Toady, and what have you been doing lately, eh? Boating? Haven't seen you on the river this last day or two. The river? Boating? Bah! Hmm? Silly boyish amusement. I've given that up long ago. Sheer waste of time. No, I have discovered the real thing. The only genuine occupation. And what's that? Um, help yourself, Mole. Well, no, well, what well, is mm. it? Come up to dirt all and you shall see. Oh. Pass the sandwiches, Mole. There's a good fellow. <laughs> uh, seen any of the uh, wild wooders lately? No. Well, who in the wild wood? They live over there in the wild wood. We don't go there very much, we river bankers. Aren't they, aren't they very nice people over there? Uh, well, the squirrels are all right, and the rabbits, of course. But there are others, weasels and stoats and Ooh. ferrets and so on. Well, there. they daren't show their noses round Toad Hall, that they daren't. Pass the rags, man. Well, there's a good fellow. Yeah. What <laughs> is that? <laughs> Oh, oh, whatever's that? Oh, there you are. I've hey, been looking for you everywhere. Now, isn't this lucky? Just at the psycho... The psycho... Oh, something moment. What's the word? Uh, encyclopedia. That is, if you ask me. I didn't ask you. Ratty, you know the word. Introduce me to your friends, won't you? I do get so frightfully left out of it. My dear friends, Mr. Rat, Mr. Mole, this is my horse, Alfred. Oh, Pleased yeah, to yeah. meet you. <laughs> If you're coming my way, you must let me take you. Only I do like a little conversation. Encyclopedia, that was the word you wanted. So this is the latest. Absolutely the very latest. There isn't a more beautiful caravan, a more compact one, a more... Uh, oh, oh, what's the word? Heavy. A more up-to-date one, a more... So this is the latest craze. I understand now, Moly. Boating's played out. He's tired of it. Done with it. Don't blame me. I wasn't consulted about this at all. But if I had been, I should have said boats. Stick to boats. My dear old rat, you don't understand. Mm. Boating were well, a pleasant amusement for the young. I say nothing against it, but there is real life for you. In that little cart, the open road, the dusty highway, the heath. The common, the hedgerows, the rolling down And the ups. Oh, uh, nobody consults me. Nobody minds what I think. Well, what do you think of it, Molly? I think it's lovely. Glad you like it. What about starting this afternoon? Uh, I beg your pardon. Did I overhear you say something about starting? Starting? That's what he said. I'm not even consulted. Come on. We'll just put the rest of the lunch inside. Come on, Molly. Oh, Use a hand. Oh, poor Ratty. Come on, Ratty, old fellow. This is the real life for a gentleman. Talk about your old river. Come on, Molly. Give us a hand. I don't talk about my river. You know I don't, Toad. But I think about it. I think about it all the time. Well, I'll, I'll do whatever you like, Ratty. We won't go. Mm. I want to stay with you mm. and, uh, and and learn about your river. No, no, we'd better see it out now. It wouldn't be safe for him to go off by himself. It won't take long. His crazies never do. When I was young... What? It was considered bad manners to whisper and leave people out of conversation. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
My own view, since asked, of the climatic conditions is that the present anticyclonic disturbance... Now then, are you all ready? No. Now you get up there, Mo. Are you on the other side, Ratty? Well, or would I... you rather... Oh, Ratty, well, I told... are uh... you going to lead him? Mm. I will if you like. You uh... sure you don't mind? Right, then I'll get up here. Oh, 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 oh. Now then, right to wake. You mark my words, no good would come of this, but don't blame me, that's all. Don't blame me afterwards. Psychological, that was the word you wanted. Not encyclopedia. I thought it seemed funny somehow. Psychological. and spring a leak. <laughs> On Sunday morning, may his collar squeak. <laughs> may all his laces tie themselves in knots. <laughs> and may his fountain pen make frequent blots. <laughs> may he forget to wind his watch at night. <laughs> and may his dancing pumps be much too tight. <laughs> <laughs> may all his token merits will be welcomed by the very soul. Come to me if you want the right word. Road hogs. You road hogs! I'll have the law of you rushing about the country at 50 miles an hour, overturning people's caravans. I'll write to all the papers about you. I'll take you through all the courts. Oh, oh Toady. How are you feeling now, Toady? Mole, come what? and give us a hand with yes. poor old Toad. Oh, yeah, I'm afraid he's pretty bad. I said that no good would come of it, and now you see. A cataclysm. That's what the old things be. Speak to us, Toady, old man. How is it? Poop, poop. Poop, poop. Poop, poop. What's he saying? I think he thinks he's the motor car. Poop, poop. It's all right, Mr. Toad. All right now. We'll make him sit up, Toad. We'll have the law of him. We'll get you another little cart. We'll make him pay for it. Another? Oh, thank you, thank you. Not at all. Don't mention it. Only to delight. Poop, poop. Glorious, stirring sight. Poetry of motion. The real way to travel, the only way to travel. Here today, in the middle of next week, tomorrow. Oh, bliss. Oh, rapture. Oh, poop, poop. Oh, stop being an ass, Toad. And to think that I never knew all those wasted years that lie behind me. I never knew. I never even dreamt. Now, look here, Toad. Pull yourself together. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. I've done with carts forever. Hot little carts, common little carts, canary coloured carts. Poop, poop. What are we to do with him? Oh, I see what it is. I recognise the symptoms. He's in the grip of a new craze. Well, come along, let's get him home. Come along, Alfred. One of the most distressing cases which has come under our notice. Very sad. Very sad. Poop, poop. What's 
that? <coughs> pa! I, I, I said, <coughs> Pa! And, uh, Pa! 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 What was that? that. <laughs> Silly of me. Just an echo. Something to do with the acoustics. Uh, listen. Red! Oh, well, perhaps it doesn't work sometimes. <laughs> Something to do with the direction of the wind. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'll try again. <clears throat> Red! No! Well, come, come, come and do it. Come, come and do it if you dare. <laughs> yes, that's all you can do, laugh. Anyone can laugh. <laughs> it's very funny, isn't it? Where are you going, Well, never, never, never you mind where I'm going. I, I'm going to see Badger. That's where I'm going. My friend, Mr. Badger. I'm calling on my old and valued boon companion, the fierce and terrible Badger. <laughs> <laughs> Badger doesn't live here, Toad. Yeah, yes, he does. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here he is. Ah, oh, my dear Badger, how are you? <laughs> do, do, do you think so? Well, you're looking splendid yourself. I never saw you looking fiercer. I said fiercer this way, my dear Badger. Goodbye. Two blains and nups to the miserable toad. Toad, toad, down with toad. Toad, toad, down with toad. Frostbite and hiccups to the miserable toad. <laughs> oh, what, what, what's that? Oh, oh, it's nothing. I'm not frightened. I do wish Ratty was here. He's so comforting, is Ratty. Or the brave Mr. Toad, he frightened them all away. Oh, what's that? Ratty always said, don't go into the wild wood. That's what he always said. Oh, Ratty, I do wish you were here. It's so much more friendly with two. So much more friendly. What's that? Who is it? Oh, oh, oh. Who is it? What is it? Who are you? Oh, Molly, it's me. It's a rat. Oh, rat. Rat. Oh, oh dear, rat. Oh, dear, oh there, rat. there, there, there. Oh, rat. I've been so frightened you can't sing. Oh, oh. poor old mole. Mm. Oh, what a rotten time you've had. Never mind. We'll soon be home now. How would a little mulled ale strike you oh. after you've got into slippers, of course? I made the fire up specially. Oh, you think of everything, Ratty. Well, shall we start? Yeah. Oh. Oh, Ratty. Mm. I don't know how to tell you, and I'm afraid you'll never want me for a companion again, but I can't. I simply can't go all that way now. Tired? Aching all over. Oh, oh Ratty, do forgive me. I feel as if I must just sit here forever and ever and ever. And ever. Oh. I'm not, not a bit frightened now you're with me. And I, I think I want to go to sleep. Well, that's all right. But we can't stop here. Oh, no. Suppose we go and dig in that mound there and see if we can't make some sort of a shelter out of the snow and the wind. Yes. And have a good rest and yes. then start for home a little bit later on. Yes. How's that? Yes. Yeah. What? Mm, how's oh, that? Oh, just as you like. Well, come on then. Yes. Oh! My leg, oh my poor sin, oh my eye. Oh, poor old mole, you don't seem to be having much luck today, do you? What is it, hurt your shin? Let's have a look at it. Oh, I must have tripped over a stump or something, oh my, oh my. Oh, it's a very clean cut. That was never done by a stump. Looks like the sharp edge of something metal. 
It's funny. Well, never mind what done it. It hurts just the same whatever done it. Wait a moment. What is it? I thought so. What is it? <laughs> Come and see. Hello, a door scraper. How very careless of somebody. Well, don't you see what it means? Well, of course I see what it means. It means that some very forgetful person has left his door scraper lying about right in the middle of the wild wood where it's sure to trip everybody up. Oh. Somebody ought to write to him oh, about it. Oh, Mole, how stupid you are. There. Now, what's that? Well, it looks like a doormat. It is a doormat. And what does that tell you? Nothing, Rat. Absolutely nothing. Who ever heard of a doormat telling anybody anything? They simply don't do it. They're not that sort. Mm. They... Oh, what have you found now? Oh, there. What do you read there? Oh, wait a minute. Mr. Badger. Mm? Do not disturb until Easter Saturday. Oh, Rat. What do you think of that? Rat, you're a wonder, that's what you are. I see it all now. You argued it out step by step from the moment when I fell and cut my shin and you looked at the cut and your majestic mind said to itself, door scraper. <laughs> and did it stop there? No, your powerful brain went on working. It said to itself... Y yes, yes, but now let's... Uh, your get... powerful brain well... said to itself, where there's a scraper, <laughs> there must be a mat. <laughs> Yes, quite so, quite so. Now, we must get on. Come on, Mole. I have noticed before, said the wise Mr. Rat, that where there's a scraper, there must be a mat. Uh, and did you stop there? Mm. No, your intellect still went on working. It said grandly to itself, where there's a doormat, yes. there must be... A door. Exactly. And now that we've found it... Said the wise Mr. Rat, I have noticed before that where there's a door, man, there must be a door. You know, Rat, you're simply wasted here amongst us fellows. Only I had your head. Yes, but as you haven't, I suppose you're going to sit on that snow and talk all night. Uh, now wake up a bit and hang on to this bell pull while I hammer. All right. Now oh, come on, Mole. Said the wise Mr. Rat, I have often heard tell that where there's a bell pull, well, there must be a bell. You yeah, what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, a bell. Well, of course. Yes, a bell. Like this? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. What is it? Who is it? Speak up. Hello, Badger. It's me, Rat, and my friend Mole. Oh. And we've lost our way in the snow, and oh, Mole's that tired you never did. Oh, my. Well, well, Rat and his friend oh. Mole. Oh. Well, come along oh. in, both of you, at once. Oh. Why, you must be Perry. Yes, yes well, we are. Well, I'm never lost in the snow. <laughs> yes. And your friend that tired. Oh, oh, oh well, oh, well. Oh. And in the wild wood at this time of night? Oh, no. What will you do first? Toast your toes a bit? <laughs> uh, I was uh, just glancing at the paper. <laughs> or supper now and oh. toast your toes afterwards. Oh. It's all ready. I, I was expecting one or two friends might drop in. Oh, I think I should like supper at once, please, Mr. Badger. That's right, Mole. Sensible animal. Um, uh, what about you, Rat? Well, just as you like. Mm. Fine old place this, isn't it, Mole? What? Oh, well, no, grand. Mama. Won't your friend try some of those pickles? Oh, oh, try nice. a pickle, Mole? Yes, very nice. Well, oh, thank you. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> I've been wanting to see you fellows because I've heard very grave reports of our mutual friend Toad. Oh, Toad. Tut, tut, tut. Whoa, Toad. Tut, tut, tut. Mm. Is his case as hopeless as one has heard? Going from bad to worse. That's all you can say about him, isn't it, Mole? Mm. Well, Paul. Mm. Here's another smash-up only last week, and a bad one. How many has he had? Cars or smashes. Oh, well, same thing with Toad, really. The last was the seventh. Alas, alas. I knew his father. I knew his grandfather. Many's the time. 
Alas, poor witless animal. I see you really ought to try some of this beef, Ratchet. Oh, no, thanks, really. I don't know when I've tasted better. Look, oughtn't mm. we to do something, Badger? We're his friends. Yes, you're right. The hour has come. Yeah, well, yeah. What hour? Uh, whose hour, you should say, Mo? Toad's hour, the hour of toad. Oh, uh, well mm. done, Badger. Well, we seem to be a sensible toad. We'll rescue the poor unhappy animal. We'll convert him. He'll be the most converted toad that ever was before we finish with him. Mm. Now, the first step is to get him here and reason with him. You know how it is. In the present weather, I don't go about much, naturally. Of course not. Oh, no. But once toad is here... But how to get him? That's the problem. Let us apply our minds to it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, it... What? Whatever's that? It's Toad! Oh, hello, Toad. I say you ought to try some of this beef. Oh, Toady, whatever's the matter? Another accident? But well, what's happened? Wild wooders? <laughs> An unfortunate breakdown in my car. Oh. A, a, a loose nut, some trifling mishap. Left me stranded at the edge of the wood... Far from home, oh, yeah. I, I bethought me of my good friend, Badger. He would lend me a sleeping suit and put me up for the night. Hmm. Well, um, as I came whistling through the wood... Yes, yes. Wrecking naught of danger, I was suddenly seized upon by a gang of rascally ferrets. Oh, I, I set about them lightheartedly, ching, 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 clang, yes, ching, ching, yes. ching. At the most, there was uh, no more than a dozen of them, when suddenly, uh, to my horror, uh, they were reinforced by a posse of scoundrelly weasels. Oh, I see. It was then, Ratty and my dear friend Mole, yeah. that I wished I had your assistance. Twelve of the rascals, yes! Is. But a dozen of them is a different matter. If only you and Mo could have taken a couple of them yeah. off my hands, there might have been a different story to tell. Ching, 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 yeah. ching, oh, ching. Yeah. As it was, a rear guard action was forced upon me. A step by step, ching, ching, clang, clang, step by step, ching, oh, clang, ching, clang, step by step, step. Yeah. Uh, st uh, Won't you sit down again, Toad? Oh, thank you. The moment has come, I think, don't you? Yes, I think so. You agree? Yes. I say, you fellow, what is all this? Toad. Uh... I knew your father, worthy animal that he was. I knew your grandfather. It was also my privilege to be slightly acquainted with your uncle, the Archdeacon. Of that, I shall speak further directly. Oh. The question I wish to ask you now is this. At the beginning of the breathless story of adventure to which we have just been listening, you mentioned a motor car. Boop, boop. You implied further that this motor car had boop, boop. suddenly lost its efficiency. Am I right in supposing that just at this moment your narrative hovered for an instant on the confines of truth? What do you mean? Oh, really, Toad? He couldn't have put it more plainly. I asked you, Toad, if it is indeed a fact that your eighth motor car is now in as fragmentary a condition as the previous seven. <laughs> I had a little accident. Thank you. Well, I think that in that case we may begin the treatment. Yes, I think uh, so. You agree? Yes. Say, you fellows, what is all this? Now then, Toad. You've disregarded all the warnings we've given you. You've gone on squandering the money your father left you and you're getting us animals a bad name in the district by your furious driving and your smashes and your rows with the police. We have decided, my friend Ratty here and Mole and I, that it is time we saved you from yourself. I am going to make one more effort to bring you to reason. You will come with me into my study and there you will hear some facts about yourself. I say the study because, on second thoughts, I have decided, for the sake of your revered grandfather, to spare you the pain of a public reproof. Yes, Badger. Thank you, Badger. Uh, well, that's no good. Talking to Toad will never cure him. He'll say anything. Yes. We must do something. Mm, yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, what's the matter, old fellow? You seem melancholy. 
too much beef? <laughs> no, Rat, it didn't that. It was just... Oh, never mind. I spill right directly. Why, whatever is it? Oh, nothing, Ratty, nothing. I was just admiring Badger's great big house and comparing it with my own little home, which, which, which I haven't seen lately. I should be better soon. I don't know what you must think of me. Oh, poor old mole. Been rather an exciting day, hasn't it? And then the same sort of pickles. Tell me about Mole End. We might go and pay it a visit tomorrow if you've nothing better to do. Oh, yeah. Uh, w- uh, oh. Hmm? Wouldn't be fine enough for you, Ratty. Oh. You're used to great big places and fine houses. I noticed directly you we came in how you stood with your back to the fire so grandly and easily just as though there was nothing to you. Well, you tucked into the beef, old chap. Yeah. Uh, did I? Rather. Made yourself quite at home. I said to myself at once, Mole is used to going out, I said. Ooh. Weekend parties at big country houses, I said. That's nothing to Mole, I said. Did, did, did you really, Ratty? Oh, rather. Spotted it at once. Well, of course, there were features about Mole Inn which made it rather a... Uh, rather uh, Rather uh, a feature. Rather, yes. Mm. Uh, yes, the statues. I picked up some statues here and there. <laughs> You'd hardly think how it livened up the place. <laughs> There was, uh, there was Garibaldi and the infant Samuel and Queen Victoria and other Italian heroes dotted about in odd corners. It, it, it had a very pleasing effect, my friends used to tell oh, me. Oh, I should like to have seen that, Mole. I should indeed. That must have been very striking. Yes, and it was just about now that they used to come carol singing. Well, Garibaldi and the others? Yes. No, uh, no, no, the field mice, yes. Oh, yes, of course, yes. Quite an institution they were. They never passed me over. They always came to Mole End last. And I used to give them hot drinks and supper sometimes, well, when I could afford it. Yes. Yes, I remember now hearing about it. And what a fine place Mole End was. Did you really, mm, Yes. Because it, it wasn't very big. It, well, between ourselves, I don't much care about these big places. Cosy and tasteful. That's what I always heard about Mole End. Oh, Ratty, you are a good friend. I like being with you. Good old Mole. <laughs> oh. Sit down there, Toad. Oh. My friends, I am pleased to inform you that Toad has at last seen the error of his ways. <laughs> he is truly sorry for his misguided conduct in the past, and he has undertaken to give up motor cars entirely and forever in the future. <laughs> I have his solemn promise to that effect. Oh, Toady, I am glad. Mm, well, there is only one thing which remains to be done. Toad, I want you solemnly to repeat before your friends here what you fully admitted to me in the study just now. First, you are sorry for what you have done and see the folly of it all. No, I'm not sorry. But it wasn't well, folly at all. It was simply glorious. Oh, oh, I thought so. You backsliding animal. Didn't you tell me just now in there? Oh, yes, it's in there. I'd have said it anything in there. You're so eloquent, dear Badger, and so moving and so convincing. And put all your points so frightfully well. You can do what you like with me in there. But thinking it over out here, I see that I'm not a bit sorry, really. So it's no earthly good saying I am now, is it? Uh, 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 uh. Then you don't promise never to touch a motor car again? Well, of course I don't. On the contrary, I faithfully promise the very first motor car I see, off I go in it. Boop, boop. Oh, there you are, Molly. I told you so. Very well, then. Since you won't yield to persuasion, we'll try what force can do. Oh. I feared it would come to this all along. You'll stay with me, Toad, until a cure has been effected. My friends, Rat Mm. and Mole, will also stay with me and help me to look after you. It's going to be a tedious business, but we will see it out. Yes, indeed. Poop, poop. Poop, poop. Poop, poop. Hello, you fellows. Not off yet? Just going. Toad's quiet now, but uh, keep an eye on him. I don't trust him. That's all right. I believe he's worse than Badger think. Huh? Look after him well, poor old Toad. That's all right. Lee. Coming, Mole. He's coming. Coming. Goodbye. Goodbye, Toad. Goodbye, dear old Mole. 
Oh, what a morning. I don't think I ever remember such a morning. When I was young, we always had mornings like this. Now, old boy, we're going to have a jolly morning together. So jump up and I'll do my best to amuse you. Oh, dear kind rat, how little you realise my condition and <laughs> how very far I am from jumping up now, if ever. But don't, don't trouble about me. I hate being a burden to my friends, and I don't expect to be one much longer. Well, I hope not, too. You've been a fine bother to us all this time. You have really, Toad. Weeks and weeks. And now, in weather like this, and the boating season just beginning, oh, it's too bad of you. I'm a nuisance to my friends. I know, I know. I was thinking about my river yesterday evening. You know? yes. uh, I wrote a little poem. Yeah. Do you think you'd like to hear it? Well... As you will, my dear Ratty. It may comfort my last eyes. It, it's about the ducks. I used to have such fun with them, you know. You know when they stand on their heads suddenly? Well, then I dive down and tickle their necks and they come up all spluttering and angry and shaking their feathers at me. Of course, they aren't angry, really, because it's all fun. And then I used to sit on the bank in the sun and pretend I was coming in after them again. <laughs> ducks ditty. <laughs> Along the backwater through the rushes tall Ducks are a-dabbling up tails all Ducks tails, drakes tails, yellow feet a-quiver Yellow bills all out of sight, busy in the river Everyone for what he likes, we like to be Heads down, tails up, dabbling free High in the blue above, swift swirl and call We are down a-dabbling up tails all I'm glad to have heard it. Ratty. Ratty? <laughs> oh, yes? I, I wonder if I could bother you, but no, 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 no. You've been too kind already. Oh, why, what is it? You know we'd do anything for you, all of us. Then could I beg you, for the last time, probably, to step round to the village as quickly as possible. <laughs> <coughs> Even now it may be too late and fetch the doctor. But... What do you want a doctor for? Oh, surely you've noticed. But no, 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 why should you? Forget that I asked. Naturally, you want to go on with your poetry. Have you, have you ever done anything in the way of epitaphs? Have... Look here, old man, of course I'll fetch a doctor to you if you really want one, but it hasn't come to that yet. You're imagining. <laughs> now, let's talk about something more cheerful. I fear, dear friend, the talk can do little in a case like this, or, mm. or doctors either, for that matter. Oh. And by the way, yes. while you're in the village, yes. would you mind asking my lawyer to step up? Your lawyer? Oh, he must be bad. All right, Toad, I'll go. Thank you. Thank you. I'll bring the doctor and the lawyer, and we'll be back as quickly as we can. You're a good fellow, Rat. It's goodbye, old boy. Keep your spirits up. Goodbye. <sighs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Smart piece of work, that. Brain against brute force and brain came out on the top. It's bound to. Poor old ratty. Oh, oh, oh. Won't he catch it when Badger gets back? The world has held great heroes, as history books have shown. But never a name to go down to fame compared with that of Toad. One judge. Yes, yes. Twelve jury. Gobble, gobble. Quack, quack. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. One policeman witness. That's you. <laughs> Here. Now don't you go moving or you muddle me. One policeman witness and one prisoner. Hello, that's funny. Where's the prisoner? Oh. Well, I know I brought him in, Mr. Usher. Oh. Toad, where are you? Here I am. Oh. Oh. What are you doing there? Come down out of it. That's where his lordship sits. Oh, I thought this was where the prisoners went. Yeah, that's cheap. What a cheap. Silence! Oh. Silence for his lordship! Silence! 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 Stop saying silence! Stop saying silence! Stop saying silence! Oh, worse than ever! <laughs> Try them with a hush, Mr. Hasher. Hush!
Well, please understand once and for all that unless I have complete and utter hush, it will be impossible for the prisoner to be tried. I don't want to be tried. Impossible for him to be tried, but not impossible for him to be severely sentenced. Lack, lack, oh, hapless toad. That was fun, anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The judge will deliver his usual song to the jury. <laughs> If an animal errs or a citizen sins, whether rabbit or weasel or ferret, he is certain as soon as the trial begins that I'll polish him off with celerity. And I always come down like a cartload of bricks. On toads, on toads, and their tricks. <laughs> My methods are quick and my eyes on the clock to avoid the delay which a jury hates. Especially so when a toad's in the dock, for there's something in toads which infuriates. So I always come down like a truckload of coal. On toads, on toads in a hole, toads in a hole. <laughs> Friends and fellow citizens, we see before us, cowering in the dark, one of the most notorious and hardened malefactors of our time, the indigenous toad. I'm not indigenous. Well, if you're not, you very soon will be. <laughs> we see before us, I say, this monster of iniquity. And it is our duty to try him fairly and without prejudice and to sentence him to the very sharpest term of imprisonment that we can think of so as to learn him not to do it again. We shall then adjourn for lunch. <laughs> so, I proceed to the charge. The counts against the prisoner are as follows. Oh. Therefore... By the way, is the jury all present? I particularly want the jury to hear this. Just call them out and see. Certainly, my lord. Mr. Turkey. Gobble, gobble. Mr. Duck. Quack, quack. Four squirrels. Yeah. Six rabbits. Yeah. I object. Yeah. What's the matter? <laughs> Who is it? It's it. What? What? It? Ah, ah, ratty, my little friend. Is it you? Oh, I'm delighted to see you. If you'll just wait until I have got this ruffian off my hands, we can have a little talk. What about lunching with me? <laughs> Go on, please, Mr. Usher. Six rabbits. Yeah. Yeah. I object, my lord. Object? One of the rabbits is a weasel. I'm not. I'm a rabbit. He is a weasel. Oh, dear, dear. A difference of opinion. Mr. Mr. Usher, uh, what are we to do? What, uh, what does one do? He says he's a rabbit, my lord, and he ought to know. Oh, well, there's something in that. You can't make a mistake about a thing of that sort. He is a weasel. I'm not. That proves it. Why should you say you aren't if you aren't? But of course he says he aren't if he aren't. I mean, if he aren't, then he aren't. So naturally he says he aren't. But he wouldn't say he wasn't if he wasn't. The other rabbits didn't say they wasn't. Why didn't they say they wasn't? Because they aren't. Just make a note that I shall want a glass of iced water if this goes on. Of course, if you aren't, you don't say you aren't. But if you weren't, you would say you were. But you wouldn't say you aren't if you weren't. And on the other hand, if you're aren't, I... I, I mm, mm. I think we'd better begin this trial all over again. Yes, my lord, much the best way. Uh, you can tell me your objections afterwards when we have this desperate ruffian safely lodged in a dungeon. He's a weasel. I know he's a weasel. You can see he's a weasel. It isn't fair. There, there, there. We'll talk about it calmly at lunch. But I want... Nice saddle of mutton and red currant jelly. Ooh. It's a, it's a shame. That's what it is when everybody knows what the weasels are. I'm a rabbit, aren't no. I a rabbit? Say I'm a rabbit, quick. Yes, yes. There you are. Naturally, there are lots of different kinds of rabbit. And I'm one of the different kinds. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're yes, not. I am. You're Please. Please. you ratty. Easy. Ratty for my sake. Now then, Mr. Usher, all over again. Mr. Turkey. Gobble, gobble. Mr. Duck. Quack, quack. Four squirrels. Yeah. Five ordinary rabbits. Yeah. One different kind of rabbit. Yeah. That's the lot, my lad. Oh, 
What about me? What is this? One Alfred here. Lead it out, Constable. Very well, sir. All right, all right. I only just look in. No esprit de corps. That's what's the matter with them all. No esprit de corps. Now then, uh, we haven't too much time. The accounts against the prisoner are as follows. First, that he did maliciously steal a valuable motor car without so much as a with your leave or a by your leave. Second, that being in the said motor car, he did drive recklessly and to the common danger. Third, that on being apprehended, he was guilty of gross impertinence to the rural police. And now then, Toad, what have you got to say about all that? I wasn't driving recklessly. I was just going along quietly at about 70 miles an hour. Oh, I saw a policeman in front of me. Naturally, I quickened up to see if he wanted anything. Same as anyone else would have done who's fond of policemen. Recklessly and to the common danger. Oh, rubbish. And what did you call me, eh? Now, how can I remember? Um, officer? Constable? Sergeant? No, you didn't. And now we're getting at it. What did he call you? Fat face. Oh, 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 this is... Terrible! This adds years to my life. You mean to tell me that this ruffian, this incorrigible rogue, who I'm about to sentence to a severe term of penal servitude, had the audacity to call a representative of the law, fat face? Oh, Tony! Lackalacko, oh, hapless animal! Oh, fat face? Did I hear right? Fat face? We don't want to make a song about it. I told you what he called me, and that's what he called me. Fat face. I didn't mean him any more than anyone else. I just murmured the expression to myself. It's a way I have. I'm that sort of person. He admits he has passed the expression fat face, me lad, and that's good enough for any ordinary jury. Speaking as a special kind of rabbit, I say that it's good enough for me. Weasel! Shut up! Very well. We have the prisoner condemned out of his own mouth of using the most frightful cheek to a member of the rural police. We shall now sentence him severely. <laughs> Wait a bit, my lord. There's that little matter of stealing a valuable motor car without so much as a with your leave or a by your leave. Well, does it matter? I mean, compared with this unspeakable impertinence to which the prisoner has already confessed. Well, it adds more to the sentence like that. Ah, well, in that case, we must certainly go into the matter. Well, Toad, what have you got to say about that? Oh, oh, oh well, I, I, I didn't mean to steal it. It was this way. I was just having a bit of lunch at an inn when I heard outside... Boop, boop. Boop, boop. You heard what? Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Imitation of motor car. Oh. Poop, poop. Poop, poop. poop. No, I don't seem to get it. Oh. Well, then, uh, two gentlemen uh, came into lunch, and as soon as I'd finished mine, I went outside to look at their car. I thought there couldn't be any harm, I only just uh, looking at it. So I looked at it, and then, naturally, I began to say to myself, I wonder if this car starts easily. So I wound it up just to see. And then, naturally, I stepped into the driver's seat, just as I always do, and then... I saw a policeman with a very fat, fat <laughs> with a very nice expression, a very, very handsome policeman, and he said, you're going at 170 miles an hour. <laughs> and I said, of course, if you say so, dear, Mr. Policeman, and then... <laughs> All this makes it worse, doesn't it? Much worse. Mm, yes, I thought so. So it means we can give him a stiffer sentence? A much stiffer one. Good. You were saying to... <coughs> May I say a few words oh. now, my lord? Who is this? Mr. Badger, a well-known and highly respected member of the community. Oh, so it is. So it is. Well, Mr. Badger... Alack, alack, oh, hapless toad, oh, ill-fated animal. 
Is it a recitation? I knew his father. I knew his grandfather. I knew his uncle, the archdeacon. Oh, this makes it very serious indeed. Many an afternoon have I spent in communion with his father at Toad Hall, oh. one of the most attractive riverside residences, with carriage sweep. Dear, dear, with carriage sweep, you say? Unhappy day. Oh, feckless Toad. Oh, rash and ill-advised animal. Mm. Oh, most interesting. We are all indebted to Mr. Badger for his profound and helpful observations. <clears throat> now, I think we can proceed to business. Guilty! Of course he's guilty! What? Mr. Usher, will you please tell us what is the very stiffest penalty we can impose for each of the three offences for which the prisoner stands convicted? Without, of course, giving him the benefit of the doubt, because there isn't any. Well, my lad, some people would consider that stealing a valuable motor car was the worst offence. Yes, indeed. And so it is. Mm -hmm. But cheeking the police oh. carries the severest penalty. And so it ought. And so it ought. And it ought. Suppose you were to say yes. a year for the theft, oh, yeah. which is mild, mm -hmm. three years for the furious driving, which is lenient, and 15 years for the cheek, which is purely nominal. Yes. Those figures, if added together correctly, tot up to 19 years. That's right! So you'd better make it around 20 and be on the safe side. Yes. But I don't mind if it isn't quite right. Say it! An excellent suggestion, Mr. Usher. Now, prisoner, pull yourself together and try and stand up straight. It's going to be 20 years for you this time. And mind, if you appear before us again on any charge, whatever, we shall have to deal with you very seriously. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. 20 years! Don't forget... Now then, prisoner, before the rest of us adjourn for lunch, is there anything you would like to say in the nature of a farewell speech? Any last words or valedictory utterances? Well, yes, I had something. Well, well what is it? Well, I'm, I'm very sorry, but... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Fat face! Oh, fat face! Oh, Me! All of you! All a whole lot of you! Oh, 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 oh. Fat face. Oh, 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 the ungrateful things to say. I am the great, the magnificent, the incomprehensible Toad. Oh, oh Toady oh. boasting again. To call me after all I've done for him. Fat face. The omnipotent Toad. <laughs> oh, well, has held great heroes as history books have showed. But never a name to go down to fame Compared with that of Toad Cast him into the dungeon! The queen and the ladies in waiting Sat in the window and sewed She cried, look who's that handsome man They answered, Mr. Toad, Mr. Toad Head face, oh, 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 Mr. Toad oh, 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 oh. Good morning, woman. Did you sleep well? Sleep well. How could I sleep well? Immured in a dark and noisome nice dungeon like this. Well, some do. Look, I brought your breakfast. Uh, yeah. Then you'll oblige me by taking it away again. Oh, cheer up. There's always hope. Hope? <laughs> How can I hope ever to be set at large again? Who have been imprisoned so justly for stealing so, so handsome a motor car in such an audacious manner and for such lurid and imaginative cheek bestowed upon such a red, fat-faced policeman. Well, oh. there is that, of course. <laughs> oh, oh, but stupid animal that I was, now I must languish in this dungeon. Oh, unhappy and forsaken toad. Nice hot butter toast. Oh, despairing. Did you say hot butter toast? I made it myself, and my father oh. said, here's the key of number 87, he said, and you can take him his breakfast. 
He's the most notorious, dangerous animal in the country, <laughs> said Father. And how we shall keep him under lock and key, goodness only knows. Did he say that? His very <laughs> words. And you can take him a couple of old crusts for his breakfast, said my father, because I must starve and break his indomitable spirit, otherwise he'll get the better of me. <laughs> well, of course, one has one's reputation. So I said, yes, Father. And as soon as his back was turned, I said to myself, what a shame. And I made this nice hot butter toast. Mm. Any prisoners ever been known to escape from this castle? Huh? Never. Mm -hmm. Well, I must see what I can do. I must give my mind to it uh, one day. Excellent hot butter toast, this. I've been giving my mind to it lately. Mm, that's the only way to make really good toast. No, I didn't mean that. I meant to escape him. I think I see a way in which you might do it. You're going to help me? Yes. I have an aunt who's a washerwoman. Oh, there, there, never mind. Think no more about it. I've said aunts who ought to be washerwomen. Ah, do be quiet a minute, Toad. You know, you talk too much. That's your trouble. Oh. Now, my aunt does the washing for all the prisoners in the castle. Mm -hmm. Well, naturally, we keep anything like that in the family. Well, of course. You know. She brings the washing back of a Friday morning. Well, that's today. Yes. Now, you're very rich, oh. or at least you're always oh. telling me so. <laughs> And for a few pounds, I think I could persuade her to lend you her dress and bonnet and so on, and you could yes. escape as the castle washerwoman. Oh, You're very much alike in some ways, particularly about the figure. We are not. I have a very elegant figure for what I am. So is my aunt for what she is. You have it your own way. You horrid, proud, ungrateful oh. animal. When I'm trying to help you, no, 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 I suppose no. you want to go oh. off in a coach and car. No, 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 no. Please, please, you are a good, kind, clever girl. And I am indeed a proud and stupid toad. Introduce me to your worthy aunt. If you'll be so kind, it'd be a privilege to meet her. Mm. That's better. With a little trouble, you'd make quite a nice toad. <laughs> This is Mr. Toad, my aunt. Good morning. Good morning, dear lady. Charming weather we're having, are we not? Blessed dine. Your niece tells me that you attend to the, um, that is, you have under your charge the uh, habiliments, the more the, uh, mutable habiliments of the inhabitants of the castle. Delightful profession, I'm sure. Is this the one? Yes. I watch. So do I, every other day. I told you the idea, didn't I, aunt? Is that the money? Well, just a little. I haven't counted it. I have. Oh. Here you are. Here's the clothes. <laughs> My dear lady, I am eternally your debtor. <laughs> uh, should you ever find yourself in the neighborhood of Toad Hall, a visit, whether professional or social, uh, now how, how do I get into these? Oh, here I'll help you. You told him the condition. Oh, condition. My aunt thinks she ought to be gagged and bound so as to look as if she'd been overcome. And you'd like it too, because you wanted to leave the castle in style. An excellent idea. So much more in keeping with my character. Yeah. <laughs> I brought a bit of rope along, in case like... Splendid. Got an handkerchief. Of course I got an handkerchief. Then you gags me first. Mm. Help. What? Help. 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 Um, silence, woman, else I gag thee. Help. 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 Thou hast brought it on thyself. <laughs> a little tighter, tighter, I tell you. <laughs> a marine on my cackling tongue. Oh, <laughs> now then, Phoebe, let us ahead with this robe. Oh, how brave you are. <laughs> now, a neat bit of work. <sighs> uh, now then, how do I get into this? <laughs> oh, silly, not like that. Here, here, give it to me. Mm -hmm. give it. Now. Apron. Uh, ooh. Uh, a shawl. <laughs> now, the bonnet. Oh. Well, upon my word, you're the very living image of her. Oh, oh. What's the matter with her? She wants to say something, I think. <laughs> Too ugly. Here, give me the gag. Oh, good. Now then, Toad, we must hurry. 
I'll take you to the end of the corridor and then you go straight down the stairs and if any of the jailers stop you and chaff you a bit because she's very popular, Aunt Tiz. Oh, I shouldn't have thought it. Now, goodbye and good luck goodbye, and don't man. forget, you're a washerwoman. <laughs> Oh, 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 <laughs> I remember once when I was hiding a shirt. What is that? That's funny. That sounded like Toad's voice. <laughs> yes, if Toad had been anywhere but where he is, poor unfortunate animal, I should have said... <laughs> it is! It's Toadie outside in the river! Oh, Toad! Toad, but this is... What's the matter? No strength left. I know. But however... However... You... You'll have to pull me in. I'm about to... Yes, right. Count. Oh. Oh. There. Oh. 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 Poor old Toadie. And as wet as wet. And am I wrong? Or are you disguised in parts as a washerwoman who's seen better days? <laughs> That's more like you. Escaped, eh? In disguise. That's much better. We'll soon have you all right. Oh, my dear Ratty, the times I've been through since I saw you last. You simply can't think. Yes, well, when you've got those horrible things off and cleaned yourself up a bit... The times, you... the trials, such sufferings and also nobly born. Yes, you'll find some dry clothes upstairs. Such escapes, such disguises, such subterfuges. All so cleverly planned and carried out. Yes, quite so. Well, <laughs> if both you... in prison, I got out of it, of course, stole a horse, rode away on it, humbugged everybody, made him do exactly what I wanted. Oh, I am a smart toad and no mistake. Oh, oh, oh. Now, what do you think my very last exploit was? I don't know, toad. Now, just stop swaggering oh. and be off and change your clothes. Badger and mole being directly. Oh, yes, yes, of course. The mole and the badger. Hey, what's become of them? The dear, dear fellows. I've forgotten all about them. Well, may you ask. Why, what? You'll hear in good time. Badger himself may prefer to break the news to you. Now, be off and prepare yourself. Ah. Yeah. Why, what's the matter? I say, hmm? is this mirror of yours working? Well, of course. Why? Well, well I, I hoped you, you... You see, it's the first time I've seen myself. No, no, you're quite right, Ratty. Nobody could carry off a costume like this. I, I'll go and change. <laughs> Toad was a wallowing. Do you know? Hello, here you are, I say. What do you think? Toad's back. Toad back? Where? Here. Where? Cleaning. You ought to have seen him, Mole. He'd have made you laugh. Unhappy animal. <laughs> he escaped. Mm, so he says, but you know what Toad is. I would speak with him. He's just having a wash. This is no time for washing. We have work before us tonight, hard fighting. Washing can wait. Where do you think I should have been if at the crisis of my life I had stopped to wash? Well, but, uh, Where would my revered father have been yes. if he had put soap before strategy? Well, uh, Where would my beloved grandfather... Yes, uh, Toad, hello, Mole. Oh, oh, thank hello. you, Mole. Yes, I heard all about his beloved grandfather this morning, mm. most in here. Hello, <laughs> you fellows. Toad, oh, Welcome home, Toad. <sighs> Alas, what am I saying? Home, indeed. This is a... Poor homecoming, unhappy Toad. Why, what's the matter? Oh, Toadie, haven't you heard? Heard what? Well, this Toads and the Weasels. The Wild Wooders. Have they been and gone? And taken Toad been all? living there ever yes, since. Yes, going on simply anyhow. Lying in bed half the day. Breakfast at all Breakfast hours. Yes, drinking yes. your grub and drinking your Making drink. bad jokes about you, singing vulgar songs. About, uh, about, 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 well, about prisons and magistrates oh. and policemen. Horrid uh, personal songs and no humour in them. Mm, that's what's happened, Toad. No good pretending it hasn't. Mm, and, I, and they're all telling everybody that they've come to stay for good. Oh, hey. They are. I'll jolly soon see about that. Yes, but how? Well, 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 now, uh, well what I shall do... Well, of course, what you ought to do... No, you ought. Oh, nothing of the sort. Well, what of you course, he... Do? he, well, he I know, know the best I've been ordered about right enough. It's, it's not to do it. Just a moment. 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 Just a Yes, Badger. When you got into trouble a short time ago and brought disgrace upon your own name and shame and sorrow upon your friends, I resolved that on your return from your enforced seclusion, I would take the first opportunity of pointing out to you the folly of your ways. Yes, Badger. Thank you, Badger. I even went so far as to jot down a few rough notes on the subject. Uh, uh, where are they, Rat? Oh, here. Ah, thank you. To make suet dumplings... Oh, it, uh, it, it's the other side. 
Oh, oh, yes. Oh, here we are. I'd rather have that bit about the dumplings if it's all the same to me. <coughs> One, conceit and its consequences. Two, reverend uncle, grief of. Three, toad, wither, tending. But the moment for all this is past. Oh, well, just as you like that, your old man. Now. I'm going to tell you a great secret. We are too few to attack from the front, but there is an underground passage that leads from the riverbank right up into the middle of Toad Hall. Oh, nonsense, Badger. I know every inch of Toad Hall, inside and out. You've been listening to gossip. That's what you've been doing. Right up into the middle of Toad Hall. When your father, who was a particular friend of mine, told me about it, he said, Don't tell my son. He means well, he said, but he's very light and irresponsible in his character, he said, and simply cannot hold his tongue. <laughs> this, this passage, how shall we use it? Tonight the chief weasel is giving a banquet. It's his birthday. While they are all feasting, careless of the morrow, we four, armed to the teeth, will creep silently by way of the passage into the butler's pantry. Oh, yes, that squeaky board in the butler's pantry. Arm to the teeth, you and Rat by one door. Yes, Badger. And me and Mole by the other. Yes, Badger. Also armed to the teeth, we shall... Creep out in the pantry. With our pistols and swords and sticks. And rush in on them. And whack them and whack them and whack them and whack them. Exactly. You've caught the spirit of it perfectly. Good, Toad. I'll learn them to steal my house. Teach them, Toad, not learn them. But we don't want to teach them. Toad's quite right. We want to learn them, and what's more, we're going to. When night comes on, and the owls are hooting, and rabbits back to their holes are scooting, and weasels wearing his evening suiting, a walloping we will go, a walloping we will go. A walloping we will go. We'll take off our braces and take off our coats and learn the weasels and ferrets and stoats. Who said so? Rat says so. Mole says so. Toad says so. Badger says so. We'll take off our braces and take off our coats and talk to the weasels and ferrets and stoats. I haven't got any braces. Oh. Mole hasn't got any braces. Toad will lend him a pair of embroidered silk braces. Oh. We'll take off our braces and take off our coats and wallop the weasels and ferrets and stoats. We'll take off our braces and take off our coats and wallop the weasels and ferrets and stoats. And one of the weasels and ferrets and stones. When night comes on and the bats are betting and rabbits back in their holes are chatting and weasels wearing his opera hatting, a walloping we will go. A walloping we will go. A walloping we will go. We'll take off our collars and take off our coats and learn the weasels and ferrets and stoats. Who said so? Rat says so. Mole says so. Toad says so. Better says so. We'll take off our collars and take off our coats and talk to the weasels and ferrets and stoats. I haven't got any collar. Mole hasn't got any collar. No. Rat will lend him a nice clean, oh. mm, fairly clean collar. Ow. We'll take off our braces and collars and coats and wallop the weasels and ferrets and stoats. We'll take off our braces and collars and coats and wallop the weasels and ferrets and stoats. And what of the weasels and ferrets and stones? Badger, 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 badger says so. I say so. Now then, to rest, all of you, we start at nine o'clock for the secret passage, and we must be fresh for it. <laughs> Friends and 
fellow animals. Before we part this evening, I have one final toast to propose. It is a toast which on all occasions has something of solemnity in it, something even of sadness, but never more so than on this occasion. Absent friends. Absent friends. With this toast, I couple first the name of our kind host, Mr. Toad. <laughs> it is a personal sorrow to every one of us that he is not among us tonight. Aww. Let me sing you a little song which I have composed on the subject. <laughs> Toad, he went to pleasuring gaily down the road. They put him in prison for 20 years. He had a beautiful house and most refined of it. They put him in prison for 50 years, poor old Toad. Poor old Toad, poor old Toad. They put him in prison for 50 years, poor old Toad. <laughs> He had much money and good, carefully bestowed. They put him in prison for 90 years. Poor old Toad. Poor old Toad. Poor old Toad. They put him in prison for 90 years. Poor old Toad. Poor old Toad. thinking of our good host, Mr. Toad, we must not forget our other absent friends, Mr. Badger, Mr. Rat, and Mr. Moon. <laughs> Fellow animals, I give you the toast, absent friends. Absent friends. Absent friends. What's that? <laughs> in that corner there. <laughs> Good evening, you ferret. Do you sing at all? No, 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 sir, please, sir. Not just a little song. No, 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 sir. I never, no, 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 learned singing. Not just a funny little song about a poor old toad. No, 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 sir. Well, try. Go on, try, try. Poor old toad. I'll learn you to sing it over there. Uh, uh, all prisoners here, toad. I'm looking after them. Ah, there, that's the lot. Oh, pity. I was just beginning to enjoy it. Now, <laughs> uh, what about your little party of rats? Uh, they're surrendered. I thought they might come in useful, waiting on us and so on. Well, if any of them wants to go on for a bit longer... <laughs> ah. Now then, Toad, stir your stumps, look lively. I want some grub, I do. We've got your house back for you. You don't offer us so much as a sandwich. Uh, just a moment, Badger. What about the sentries? Sentries, well, yes. They may still be at their posts. Sentries? Oh, they've run away far enough by now, haven't they, Moley? Oh, if they are ways, they yes, have. Yes, well, I think it will be safer if Mole and I just... Sensible rat there, speak the voice of wisdom. <laughs> Uh, you and I and Mole... No, don't you bother, Badger. Mole and I can do it quite when easily. When I go walloping, I go walloping. So do I! Come on, I'll leave you You do nothing of the sort, Toad! You've asked us to stay to supper, and we're staying to supper. Well, where is the supper? If this isn't your house, say so, and Mole can entertain us. The prisoners will help you get it ready, Toady. Oh, all right. Oh, don't forget the wine, Toad, because no. we shall want to drink your health. Yes. Oh, and you'll have to make a speech. <laughs> all right. That's all right. You leave that to me. Now then, bustle up, you. Yes, sir. Come, sir. 
got a pencil in, have you? Yes, sir. Thank you. And I dare say all you young fellows are wondering what I'm writing. Please, yes, sir, yes, sir. Well, I'm just jotting down a few rough notes. Oh, sir. Just a few rough notes for a little entertainment I've sketched out, a little informal sing-song or conversazione to celebrate my return. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. Something like this. Oh. Uh, uh, one a speech by Toad. And then I make a note. There'll be other speeches by Toad during the evening just so as to reassure people. Yes, sir. Two a dress by Toad. <laughs> Three imitations of various bird news. Tweet, tweet, you know, this sort of thing. By a Toad. <laughs> Four song by a Toad. <laughs> Composed by himself. <laughs> Five other compositions by a toad, oh. sung by the composer. Oh. Six song, for he's a jolly good fellow, sung by Badger Redmo. Oh. Oh. It's all just a few rough notes. Hey, could you give us a song now, sir? Uh, give it to me. Oh, please, sir. Oh, well, I don't know. Why won't you stand on this, sir? Oh, perhaps. Oh, sir. <laughs> now, now, this is just a little song, and it's called When the Toad Came Home. Yes, sir. Maybe you'll sing it, sir. Oh, certainly, certainly. When the toad came home. When the toad came home. There was panic in the parlour, there was howling in the hall, there was crying in the cowshed and a snotting in the stall, there was smashing in of window, there was crashing in of door, there was bashing of the enemy who fainted on the floor. When the toad came home. There was panic in the parlor, there was howling in the hall, there was crying in the cowshed and the snorting in the stall, there was smashing in a window, there was crashing in a door, there was bashing on the enemy who fainted on the floor when the toad came home. Oh, oh get down at once! Oh, it's no good, I know him, he's practically in a trance. Let him have his evening out. We'll talk to him in the morning. Talking's no good to toad. All the same, I'll talk to him. Let him have his hour first. Oh, all right. You know, I say there's something about that too. Would you, you can I come and dance with oh, you? Very Young still is yes, well. Well, if you'll excuse me, Badger, I love dancing as well. Oh, well, well, well. Well, well, no, well. There was welcoming to Badger when he joined the merry throng. I could do it for a little, but I can't go on for long. Goodbye. 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 Marigold, Marigold, wake up, dear. You've been dreaming. Nurse, nurse. It's time we went, dear. In Toad of Toad Hall by A. A. Milne, Toad was played by Derek Smith, Rat Bernard Cribbins, Mole, Richard Goulden, Badger, Cyril Luckham, The Judge, Hugh Paddock, Nurse, Diana Bishop, Marigold, Tina Heath, Alfred, Brian Haynes, Weasel, William Fox, Stoat, Fraser Carr, Ferret, William Slay, Phoebe, Kate Binchy, Usher, Terry Scully, Policeman, Ronald Herdman, The Washerwoman, Joe Manning Wilson, James Ferret, Sam Dastor, Henry Weasel, Nigel Graham, the duck was John Forrest, and the turkey, Andrew Rivers. The music was especially adapted by Peter Hope, and the play was produced by Martin Jenkins. <laughs>